Well, hang on. After, after 30 max, I will tell you that I, I do remember the earliest ones most. Um, they're always, they are, are always the most memorable. Um, I have to recall being on an IOR boat that was a 44-foot swan uh, with uh, the wind building to 35 to 40 knots from behind. I think it was the 84 Mac, something like that. And uh, um, we'd already blown through two spinnakers. Um, the boat was not capable of surfing. It weighed, weighed over 44,000 pounds. But we uh, raced her as hard as we could. We got her up to 13 knots. And uh, uh, it was like uh, a snow plow plowing through the sea. A little later on, um, on a Tartan 10, capable of surfing, uh, had a great time uh, working the wind at night. Uh, going right, 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 right. This crew said, aren't we going to hit the bottom? And I said, no, we know the bottom here. We know the bottom. We went right, right, right. The wind favored us. Couldn't see the competition. We woke up the next morning with the fastest boats behind us in our section. And couldn't see anybody ahead. And uh, weren't sure what really happened until we got to the island. Um, no transponders in those days, and nobody told the truth when they called the Coast Guard. So we got to the island, never saw another T-10 stick, and realized we were in first place. Fantastic place.